Welcome to my workshop. Today, as you hopefully will have guessed from the video title, we'll be pinning a Goliath beetle. This one in particular, it's Goliathus goliathus apicalis. I'm probably not saying that right, don't kill me. So there's five Goliath beetle species and they're all from Africa. Oh, excuse me. Um, this one has red elytra and iridescent wings. They all have iridescent wings, but it's also the one that you'll find in Animal Crossing. We have a little bit of a theme going on. Let's get to pinning. So here he is. We've rehydrated him with some boiling water. Now we'll check that all the limbs are nice and mobile because we don't want those to break off when we go to pin him. Now we'll dig out the wing from under the left elytron, whatever side works for you really. Once you get the wings out with the forceps, then use your fingers because you can be a bit more delicate. There we have it. The wing. It's nice and mobile. Now we'll work on the other side. Now we'll pin our beetle in place with a temporary sewing pin. I say temporary because they rust, so normally you'd use entomological pins, but for this purpose it's fine. I'm left-handed, so I'm going to start on the right-hand side. That's the side that will get in the way the most, but you do what's most comfortable for you. You will have noticed that I bent the tracing paper over there. It looks very purposeful, but it's just me realizing that it's slightly too long. You also find that the more you fold the tracing paper, the more pushing power it has, if you will. So if you have a sturdy insect like this, it might help to fold over the tracing paper. Also, I'm an idiot. I forgot about the middle legs. So that's why you see me redoing the wings over here. For the hind legs, I like a little bit of a question mark shape. And you'll see that I like all the tibiae to be perpendicular to the body and the tarsi on the front legs, I want them slightly visible as well. We'll leave the antennae for last. You'll see that I should have secured them slightly better in the end. So this nifty little thing here is my incubator. I use it to dry my insects. If you don't have one of these at home, you can expect to wait around, well, over a month to dry your Goliath beetle, really. But in my case, it only took around four or five days for this guy to completely dry. And now we have a good life beetle that's all dry in the pose that we left it in. And now you can frame him most likely because you won't want the wings to be out if you're just putting him in an entomological storage box. But look at it. It's quite an impressive insect, don't you think? Right, then you find yourself a nice deep display box. You'll need a deep box because these are pretty big insects. And don't forget to seal up the back because one threat you might face is domestic beetles and they'll eat the specimen, they'll destroy it. So you want to do your best to keep your shadow box pest safe and then find a nice spot on the wall. Or just buy my frames in my Etsy shop.